the planet Jelusia is on the verge of death. Once the home of proud people living in peace, it has been conquered by the Gavanas, the mighty invaders from space. Kaido, ruler of Jelusia, with the warriors of his 60 tribes, fought valiantly. But they had been no match for the ruthless, steel-skinned hordes of the Gavanas. Creator of our universe, forgive our sins. Grant us the miracle of salvation. Where these eight Liabe seeds land, Eight Liabe heroes will rise. The eight shall rise, and with the help of the Creator, will save us from our doom. You glow, little seeds. I send you to your destiny. I hear, wise one. You will follow the Liabe seeds wherever they go. And when you return with the eight brave heroes, the people of Jelusia will be saved. Yes. Master, may I accompany your granddaughter because she may need help? Good. Go with my granddaughter. You protect her if need be. I'm glad you're going. Emeralida. Hey, May die while on this mission. You must be the one to carry it out. Understand, Rocco? Yes. Emeralida, you, my granddaughter, you must succeed in this, you and Rocco. Our people are counting on you. Wish me luck, wise one. <laughs> There's something wonderful about a storm. Majesty! Well? Jerusalem sighted in Area 10. They're trying to escape. You sure? Look, sire. out of the universe to seek help. Just look. They ought to know it's hopeless to find anyone to defy me. Roxaya, you see them try to leave and yet you do nothing. If they've gone to get help, anything can happen. I'd kill those Jelusians and do it right now. <laughs> you worry too much, Mother. Son, just a second ago I saw up in the sky Eight glowing Yabi seeds flying by. No, you sure? Yabis are messages. There's no telling what will happen. You'd better not let them get away. If you do, there's no telling what those seeds will do. I think you'd better get after those Jelusians and kill them. <laughs>
when earthling adventurers roamed the planets of the galaxy, seeking riches in the form of resources and colonies. Captain! Captain! Yes, miss? What is that? Oh, that's a meteoric belt. A famous view of Militaria. No, no, not that. I mean that cloud-like shining thing. Hmm? Oh, those are space fireflies. Fireflies could exist in space. <laughs> oh, God, they're gorgeous. Oh, it's just a name. Actually, they're flies emanating from space refuse. You see, miss, this meteoric belt is a dumping ground for atomic ashes and industrial waste. Hey, John, what the hell happened? I'm sorry, miss. Rough riders are interfering with our course. What? Stupid idiots! What do they think will happen if we collide? Notify the space patrol and have them pick them up. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Then hurry up. Will you give me the wheel? Hurry I can't up. let you do that, miss. Your father would fire me. You fool. We please. Hurry up or we're going to miss please, you. Please, miss. Please, please, <laughs> please, Get miss. Please, 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 stop. Stop. Hey, Shiro. Nice speed. It's been a long time since we've been out cruising like this. Right. Little wager? Yeah, if you want to lose, try to win. Just make sure you got that silver. Don't worry, here we go! Uh-oh. It's the Space Patrol. Stop! You are ordered to stop! Please obey the code! Will you stop? Shut up, man! We live by our own code! Hey! Let's settle this with a chicken run! Chicken? What's a chicken run? A chicken run banana? Let's go, come on! You make a dive, go straight down. And then the first guy that pulls out is chicken! Ha <laughs> ah!
happens. Huh? <laughs> you stupid damn. What the hell is this? Hey, Aaron. Look what I found. General Garuda speaking. Emergency call, sir. Garuda, what was that object just launched? What's going on there? It was a rocket for a funeral. Funeral? Yes, I buried a brave soldier in eternal orbit. What? Who was it? Soldier servant Babel One. My robot. Your robot? You mean you use a precious military rocket for a robot's funeral? That's right, General. Baby once served me faithfully for over 30 years. Military order said he was outdated and had to be scrapped. You fool! You must be out of your mind. A man like you should be terminated immediately. Don't worry about that, General. I've already submitted my resignation, effective tomorrow. Goodbye, General. Baby two, is everything ready? Yes, Master. Baby two get good deal in space thrift shop. Uh, nothing fancy. Nothing to look at. It's just great. You're good to get out of my uniform. Hasn't felt right in years. You want something fancy? Get French, robot. Don't get smashed. Much fine place to crash tonight. No more booze. No more booze. Hey, baby, you better shut your voice box. Or I'm gonna cut out your valve. Come on, I'm just gonna have one more drink, baby. One more drink. Hey, what is this? You put something in my drink? No, sir. Of course not. Doesn't taste like Mirazelia booze. Tastes like um, tastes like scotch. After too much, all booze tastes like scotch. <laughs> You're beginning to talk like my ex-wife. <sighs> Jersey, Jersey. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You got the money from the bookies, didn't you? Where's the cash? Oh, well, you know what? I need those, so go and get it. You see. Will you get it? I... I loaned it. Look, you guys, I want that dough. I know he lent it to you. That dough belongs to me. I want that dough. He loaned it to you, but you do a little deal on the side. You gonna give me that money? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You guys better have that money in half an hour. If you're one lousy minute late, you're all gonna end up in quicksand. I don't believe it! Get out of my way! You heard what he said? Get the money! Get the money! That's not what we agreed on. Now, you said we could take our time. That's why we're working here. I'll tell you what. Give me what you've got left, all right? We spent it, every bit of it. You didn't. No, you didn't. We had to buy some parts for our machines. We had to buy some engines and parts and stuff. 
Big Sam's gonna throw us in quicksand! That's what he'll do! I know it! I know it! A nut inside a tomato. What's going on here? Eric. It's just like ours. Huh? Hey, Aaron, Shiro. Maya. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing here? Oh, I was goofing with one of those military fighter planes, and the captain got so freaked out he had an accident. So you're on the run? Sort of. My parents sent me here with a babysitter until things calmed down at home. Who is she? A girl rough rider, Jackie. Hey, yeah, uh, Maya, you got a rich old man, don't you? Sort of. All right, uh, why don't you help us out of this little financial fix we're in? What for? Because you're a great kid. We just had to borrow 30 pieces of gold. If we don't pay those gangsters back, they're gonna shove us down in quicksand. 30 gold pieces? All right. <laughs> On one condition, you help me hunt for fireflies. Fireflies? From the shuttle ship, I saw these gorgeous space fireflies. I want them. You're out of your gourd. You can't go there. You get three years in jail. Just for going in the area. The chick is crazy. All right. No help. No gold. Shit. Well, I guess it's better than being killed by Big Sam. Okay, Maya. Anything you say. I tell you guys, this girl means trouble. There they are. Today is the day I'll get those two. Huh? Show off. This is Space Patrol ordering you to land at coordinate 76, Okay, Jack, you just sit and wait for the space dragon to eat you up. Guess what? I feel better.
if anyone's on board. It's like a haunted ship. Come on, let's go. Wait, don't go in there. <gasps> Jack, will you cut it out or are you going back to the ship? Come on. probably attacked by space pirates. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Hey, this engine wasn't made in our solar system. Are you sure? Yeah. There's nothing I don't know about engines. And these nets generate some kind of magnetic energy. What are you saying? You mean they come from some other planet in the Milky Way? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. What's that ship? The goddamn patrol ship was just blown up. Maybe we should tell the police. Yeah, sure. Do that and the fuzz will know we were horsing around in the prohibited area. And we're good for three years in the space clink. I feel so terrible that we caused this trouble. Yeah, sweetie, trouble is right. We almost got killed because of you. Do you understand that? Jack! Jack, Jack, get off my back. Hey. Hey, what's all this noise? Shh. The humanoids who own this place have come back. Having argument. I'm not gonna take this lion down. You understand? Huh? I expect to see a little thank you note. Thank you note. You heard what I said. I want some money! Jack, will you cut it out? You're just impossible! You leave me alone, will you? That will be enough. I forbid you to go on. What? No dumb broad's gonna. <laughs> Nobody does that to me! <laughs> <laughs> I got you! I got you! You let those men go! You little... You little coward! Look, Rocco. You mustn't hurt those who are going to save us. Huh. Please take this, because you're bleeding. Here. By thunder! The Liabi gods would have chosen heroes, not wastrels like these idiots. I should slit your throats, so that's what I should do. No, Rocco. You must believe in the glorious seeds. These people are the ones who were chosen. Who are you? Sorry to break in on you like this, but I must have had too much to drink, wandered in here, passed out. I'm sorry. Look, I don't know if this means anything, but I overheard you talking about some strange seeds you have. I don't understand what this means. Maybe you can tell me about it. All right, I will. 
Our planet was invaded. The planet was so happy until the Gavanas army came. That was the end of everything. Men, women, and children. The old. They were fighting and dying. They held out to the bitter end. Yes, they died. They were heroes. Not a single one went over to the enemy camp. Crushed by the Gavanas, we made a last request to the Jalusian god of Liabi. And he answered us. This is what he said. Eight will find the holy Liabi seeds, and those eight will save us. Now you know everything. Our planet's future depends on you. I know it's a great sacrifice. What I don't understand is why your god and his miracle Liabi seeds picked them. You see, I've been a soldier my whole life. And these young men, they don't seem to me as if they could even handle a weapon. That's right, we can't. Who needs them anyway? Besides, we were all born after the last space war. Isn't that so? Yeah. No wars for me. Hey, tough guy. What about you? What do you have to say? Oh, well, uh, I think that uh, there's only eight of us. What you really need is the Earth forces. What do you say? Look, what you need in your war are soldiers. You heard them, they just told you they have no intention of fighting. And as for me, I couldn't do it alone. I couldn't win. You better take the seat back. Baba, let's go. Baba One has now become a star, sailing through the sky. It's over now, forget it. Baba Two cannot forget. Repeat, cannot. No robot can forget your goodness to robot kind. Hey, baby, don't get emotional on me. Come on, will you? But, Master, why not help these good people? Baba One would so wish it. You are strong man, fighting man, man of army. Look, babe, I'm not in the army anymore. There's no place in it for me. So how can I help you? You stop pushing it, you hear me? Just stop pushing it. Come on, let's find a place to sleep. And watch where you're walking. You're going to fall down, you're going to dent yourself. Emma, our leader, we must go. We dare not waste a minute. We have to go out and and search for the real heroes that are destined to save us. That is the will of your grandfather. All right. All right, Rocco. No, wait. Are you all a bunch of cowards? Aren't you going to help them out? Shut up! We're discussing what to do about them. So, uh, okay, huh? It's too much. Hey, you two, if we don't get money and get it soon, you know what Big Sam said he'd do, all right? No, Jack. I like you, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll take you where the other four braves are waiting. Really? You know who has the other Liabi nut? And you would take us there? That's right. You know, these guys, they're not rough riders, they're wolf hunters. Just the ticket for killing the Gavanas. Jack, <laughs> I'm proud of you! They stayed overnight. They bought a lot of brandy from me. 
Oh, my pretty one, this looks like the ones they had. You're certain? Yes, these nuts were so strange. I looked at them carefully. I offered to buy all four of them, but those men were too smart to sell them to me. <laughs> there can be no mistake. If she's right, looks like we're in luck. Yes, let's hurry. You cannot go, my pretty. It is far too dangerous. Only strong men can follow the mountain trails. And then there's the wolves who roam about very hungry at this time of year. Oh, yes, my pretty one. The mountains are no place for you. You know where the hell they are? Yes. All you have to do is follow the cry of the wolves. They're near the wolves. You'll take us there, lady? Right now? Yeah, right now. Oh, it's dark. Why not go tomorrow? Oh. So it's dark, it's dark. I just heard a Milisarian wolf howling. And tonight, if those wolves cut out, the hunters will too. And these cats are in a hurry, you understand that? Please help us. My child, you would never be able to make it. Who knows what would happen to a lovely young girl out there? She's right. Wait for me here. I'd better go alone, Emeralita. Hope you make it, fella. Ikiroku, get up and get ready. I want you to show this young lady's two friends where those hunters are. Thank you, sir. I'm very grateful. It's nothing, nothing, my pretty. We must help one another in this world. It's cold up there in those mountains. Here, have a good drink first. That's very kind. I appreciate it. Rocco, you take care. Yes. There's nothing to worry about, my dear. He's the greatest guide in our area. Stupid! The old hag put a Mickey in your drink! Oh. Hey! He was a tough cookie. Okay, a deal's a deal. Let's see the dough. as well begin at the beginning. He must be thirsty, so get him a nice drink. Did you hear what? what I said? Why are you doing this? I have 
paid a small fortune. I paid it for you, my pretty, so you could, could be the bride of my son. Huh? <laughs> You're just like the other people. They hate him because he's ugly. He was born on the planet Pluto. What are you waiting for? Make the pretty one yours. <laughs> ah, good girl. I like to see a girl with a little spirit. Use this, my boy. I'm sure you know what to do with her. <laughs> Forgive you. Die! <laughs> Jack, you're a real creep. Nah, I wasn't the only one. Those two got their share of the loot. What do you think they are, little angels? Go on, ask them. You'll see. What? Is that true? Answer me, Aaron! Cheryl, yeah, not you. Maya, think a little. You don't really believe in these silly nuts. A nut is a nut, honey, and that's all. You know, you've got to use your head. Because even if it's true, the problem is two million light years away. And there's nothing we can do to change that. You people are disgusting! All oh, right, so I'm disgusting. I'm a punk. Who wants a war? You want to be a war hero? I don't. And what's it to you? 
You're just some rich man's spoiled daughter. You know where your daddy got all his bucks? From the last stinking war. Aaron. So I don't give a damn what you say. I just like flying free if it's all right with you. And I don't need anyone's advice to show me what I need. And who needs this? <laughs> Shiro, get rid of yours, too. I hate you all! Aaron, we'll all get one, you'll see. Take it easy, be a little patient, you'll get one. Hey, don't bother me, I'm not a kid. I don't even want one. It's not making so much noise, I can't get to sleep.
Welcome to my base, Emeralina. I've wanted to talk to you for a long time. Roxea, nothing you can say can change what happened. Since the Gavanas invaded, our sacred land has been destroyed by your soldiers. It's people killed, death crawls in your wake. You are detested wherever you go. Our only hope lies in your defeat. It was not our fault if we had to destroy this planet. My only desire was to keep Jelusia beautiful, fertile, and rich. But you refused to surrender. You had no chance to win, yet you refused to surrender. That is what brought you your destruction. Surrender? We Jelusians do not surrender. Get this into your head. Jelusians are not your cattle. We would rather die. We would rather die in honor than to be slaves of someone. There is nothing you can make me do that will, that will alter the way I feel. Jalusi will fight you right to the end. Take her away. Roxea, I trust you're going to kill that girl. No, one day she may be of use. May I speak, Your Majesty? Go on. We brought back something else, Your Majesty. A creature capable of thought. We found it in the solar system. I brought it back for study. Very good. There is life in the solar system. This proves it. On the thought screen, sire. We hope to get a look at the creature's memory. seen such a beautiful planet. What do you call it? Earth. It turns around the sun. It's the third planet. A beautiful planet. Sire, the creature's dead. Mother. Don't you think that the planet Earth is the only suitable place for the grand palace of the conqueror of the universe? I do, my son. If you're able to manage that, Roxea, you will be admired forever as the king of kings throughout the glorious history of the Gavanas people. Son, I'm still worried about the Lyabe. Forget about them, mother. I have taken precautions. I am relieved to hear that. Now you issue orders to go and conquer Earth. For as long as we are masters of a great fortress like this, then surely the victory is ours, no matter what the Earthmen try to do. Oh, the sky! It's the 
identified planet moving from the Andromeda Nebula toward the solar system was reported by the Earth's intergalactic space warning system. A space hieroglyphic message was received and decoded by Earth. In it, Roxea the Twelfth of Gavanus demanded that Earth become a tributary planet of his empire. As a reply, the Earth Federation of Nations sent three of its most lethal space carriers to seek and destroy the Gavanus. attack! of the defeat of the Earth space fleet shocked the Council of the Earth Federation of Nations. The chairman of the Council assumed responsibility and resigned. A new Congress was organized by the opposition with Ernest Noguchi as the chairman.
Is he here? Yes, we finally found him. He's in the bar. I'm afraid he's had a lot to drink. General Garuda, my friend, how are you? The Gucci. I should say Chairman the Gucci. Congratulations on your appointment. You've come a long way, my friend. You've come a long, long way. Ironic, isn't it? I ascend to power because of the governess at the very time they threaten Earth with destruction. Uh, you have my sympathies. But I don't care about the Earth. I don't care about its politics. I know all that. Earth is on the verge of annihilation. That must not happen. Garuda, I want you to go see Roxea, the Earth's special envoy. Special envoy? Mm -hmm. What are you saying? They demand we surrender unconditionally. They have given us only three days to comply. Your mission is to give me more time. I see. What the Earth needs is more time to prepare for an attack. But why do you want me for this special mission? Why? Do you remember what I, uh, what I called you when we were in school together? I remember. Mm -hmm. Now you know why you're the one that was chosen. You're the only one in the world that would go out and take on a giant with only a lance. No, no, Gucci, it's impossible. Even if the Earth had more time, it's still going to lose this war. Good generals. They've been discharged and disgraced by the committees. And replaced by political appointments. We've had 20 years of peace. But today, the Earth doesn't have a strong military defense. What's wrong with you? I cannot believe what I heard today. You do your duty as a soldier, you hear? I'm not in the military anymore. I buried my career in orbit with Baby One. I can't do it. Chosen by the gods. Is there something wrong, Garuda? No, nothing's wrong, Noguchi. It's the sign. The sign I've been waiting for. Mima! Yes, General. Get my things ready. I'm going to the Gavanas. As the envoy. Hot dog, master. Maya, why do you think Aaron didn't get one of those Layabi nuts? Well, if he keeps acting like that, he's certainly not going to get one. He's just pouting like a big baby. Hiroko! What are you doing up? I cannot stay here. I must go and search for the Layabi braves and then defeat the Gavanas. You're not going anywhere. Get back inside. We're busy. Hey! Hey, I got news! You know that old drunk that day? The one with the little robot? Well, he's a general. Some big will came from Earth to send the general to Jalusia. Well, let's hurry up. We better get going. Shiro, Shiro. Hey. what's the matter? Aaron! Aaron! Why don't you just change your mind? Give us a hand. Don't bother me. Why don't you change your mind? You think you look like a brave warrior or something? It's some even fairy tales. Look, Aaron, we all know how you really feel. You're in love with Emeralita. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm just not getting involved in this craziness like you guys, all right? And I'm just going to sleep. So just get off my back! Ah, uh, come on, Aaron. I said shut your mouth! No, you don't. <laughs> Kira! Aaron! Kira, stop you it! Cut that out! Stop! No fighting! Cut it out, I said! It's the ship again!
are you going? I got Jack. What are we supposed to do? Stand here and forget it? You can't go Stand alone. Are it. you crazy? Aaron! Get out of my ship! Aaron, look! Look! You got it. Way to go, buddy. I knew you'd get one. It's a message. We've all been chosen and we've got to work together. Come on, Aaron. Get your ship ready and let's take off. Let's get to our station. Yeah. Okay. Aaron, Shiro, get ready for firing position. Roger. Roger. Bernardi star system. Damn it! I still can't figure out why the lousy shades interfered! I don't know. If we'd gone straight to Jalushia, we could have found Jack. What was that noise? Look there! It's the Cabalas! Uh... Bandits, speak before you die. Please, he's only have a brave too. I am Prince Hans, heir to the Gavanus throne. The evil Roxea was my undoing. He killed my father, the king of Gavanus, and he killed my mother as well. My friends, I will follow the will of the seed. I will join you four in your mission. But think a moment. Do you realize you would be fighting your own people? They would be your enemy. The fate of the universe hangs in the success of the Liapi mission. I shall do what I know I must do. Wait a minute. Now I see. The Liavi seeds intended to break our instruments, so we'd meet up with Hans. You're probably right. <laughs> yes. Now off to Jalusia. Earth, why do I hunger for you so? Why are you the most exquisite sight my eyes have ever beheld? Why do you excite me? Roxea, the Earthlings have not replied yet. The three days are up tomorrow, and they have not replied. What are you going to do, eh? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Mother. They're panicking. In fear of our forces, they'll surrender tomorrow. Majesty, we have just sighted an Earthship. They request an audience, Your Majesty. The Earthlings have come. At last. Tell the envoy I shall see him.
Emperor Akseya, Grand Empress. The Earth Federation appreciates your granting me this audience upon short notice. You are welcome. But before we begin, I have a little gift for you. The gift. The gift. You want to kill me? I know it. I know it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not afraid to die. I'm a Leavi brave. Oh. General! Oh, don't let them kill me, please! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! <laughs> What's so funny? You, what are you laughing at? I said, what are you laughing at? This man may be a fool. He's a citizen of my planet. You make him beg for his life and then you fight him. You are challenged! Wait, just a moment, General Garuda. You are here as Earth's special envoy. Yet you have behaved in an insulting manner, General Garuda. No, I haven't, Your Highness. A citizen of Earth has been ridiculed before your entire court. According to our law, I have the right to challenge. If it is refused, then this man and everything he stands for will be dishonored. All right, you can challenge. The Tsar, accept him. Sire! The Z-guns are loaded with a single charge. You will start back to back. Then, at the tenth step, you will turn around and you will fire. Begin! disgraced by this coward. Go and throw the body out. Emperor Roxaya, on Earth we too have our cowards and we have our fools. But like the Gavanis, we have those that value honor more than life. So even if the government agrees to surrender, people will not. They'll fight your armies. They'll mobilize their forces, even knowing they can't win. And in the end, the Earth will be destroyed. Yes, that green planet will become a barren desert like Jalusia. And so, Your Highness, the Earth Federation has sent me to ask you for time. Time so we can round up these radical forces and prepare our citizens for a peaceful surrender. <laughs> <laughs> that was well done. Earth needs time for its counterattack, eh? Very well done. You talked so well, you almost had me taken in, but not well enough. It's true. The Earth is too lovely to be destroyed. So, let's consider its satellite. I'll destroy the moon. <laughs> saved. If not, you see what will happen to it. Now go.
I warn you, he's a Lyabi Sea chosen one. I wonder if it's very wise to let the general get away. Chairman Noguchi Don Quixote has returned. Don Quixote has returned, sir? I don't get it. Don't worry about it. He'll know what I mean. Once more, once more into the breach, my central Banza. You follow me. But whatever you do, don't land on top of me. Very funny. Let's go. Yes, my son. If you scared, do not come. Goodbye. Emily, I'll be man too! There's no way we can get close without being seen. Do you have any ideas? Just let us handle it. We already have plans, right? Right! Let's go! Okay! Yay. I'm ready. I'm ready, too. Okay. Prepare for our chicken run operation. Flying object in second patrol area. What? Red alert! Ready for firing position? Ready to fire. Roko, you're home. Jalusians! Jalusians! This is Roko. I come with four of the Liabi Braves. You decided to come? Yes. Who is this man? Oh, Prince Hans. He's also one of the Liapi brave. Welcome. Welcome. An honor. Well, it looks like the six of us have been chosen to go, right, baby? Two more to find, but no robots included in deal. Too bad. <laughs> That's all right. You go with me. Observe.
This is the only way to the Gavanas reactor furnaces. All energy for the planet fortress is generated here, but it is closely watched. The only way to defeat the Gavanas is to destroy their ability to generate power. No one has ever succeeded. If we blow up the furnaces, the towers will be destroyed. So will your planet. I know, but... But we do not have a choice. Those reactors must be destroyed. Master. No. Roko, listen to me. I know it's hard to understand, but we have to destroy our planet. That's the only way. We can also destroy the Gavanas. Do you agree? <laughs> you all agree, huh? Why must he destroy Jalusia? Why? What about your people? Our spaceship there. It is still able to navigate. The women and children can leave on it. With the will of the gods, they may make it. Well, the only trouble is to figure out a way to get through their defenses. There's a spiral tube. It leads right to their furnaces. But it's only about 10 meters in diameter. There must be a way. It's impossible to destroy that reactor. We can't do it. Roxaya will be master of our universe. What did he say, 10 meters in diameter? Hmm. How about threading the needle? What did you have in mind? We'll dive right into the spiral thing with our ship. Now, the Gavanas would never think anyone would be nuts enough to try and fly a spaceship right into their castle. It's risky, but it might work. That tunnel is only 10 meters side to side. One mistake and you've had it. Hey, we've gone tunneling lots of times. It's a hobby. Yeah, tunneling's very common on Earth. We've done even narrower ones. And anyway, we got no other choice. Now we can get inside. Maybe that's why they were chosen by the leave, they seeds. All right. I want you to study that plan. Every detail, all the interior structures, and I want you to remember it. Who's the seventh? Who's the eighth? Drop your weapon! Oh! Your weapon! Put your weapons down. Put them down. what you intended to do. General Garuda, Prince Hans, as well as these four young Earthmen. We know that you people were chosen, were chosen by the Liabi Holy Seeds. I knew you would come. I know everything. 
Because one of you is a traitor. Poor old fool. This is a sad moment for you, huh? Now that those Liabi heroes of yours have been put in my custody, what can you do? All your dreams have been shattered, old one. I will tell you. This is the last time I will. Surrender, and I promise no harm will come to you. Roxea, it's true that you brought Jelusia to its knees. Yet there is no ruler who can rob us of what we have in our hearts. I believe this. For as long as the Jelusians have faith, then Jelusia shall rise again to its former glory, and you and your Gavana shall be defeated. You dreamer. Kaido, do you really believe all that? Ridiculous. Look at your Liabi miracle men. Then you must die. You will be executed by your own traitor. Roko. Roko! Have you gone crazy? Answer me! Don't look at me like that! Since this all began, we never had a chance. Not a single chance. Just hope for a miracle. And now, you would destroy our planet. What good is freedom? What good is the pride of our race if we lose our land? You listen to me? I'll kill you. I'll not let you do it. I'll... I'll... Rocco! Rocco? Liabi gods have chosen even robot like Beba too. Do not kill. Do not betray. Roko, what are you waiting for? I'm losing patience. Kill him. Traitor is a traitor. of the gods to tell you that now we cannot lose. Yes. Oh. Rocco! Old one! We'll keep them back! Get your people to the ship! I go!
Hey, start the reactor. of Gavanas, who caused massacres and bred fear throughout the universe. A dog that deserves to die. Die! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Do not weep at my death. This planet Jelusia is my motherland. My last wish is to be part of its destiny. You young people, you must go on, led by the Liabe gods. May you find another planet in the far corners of the universe to dwell on. And there, my children, and there you will establish a civilization where joy and Peace will reign. Farewell. No, get on board! seeds have worked their miracle. Thanks to all of you here, we... we Delusians are saved. You are indeed brave heroes. This is Gerald Garuda reporting. The Gavinous Empire has been General totally Garuda, destroyed. I thank you. Thank you for all you've done. I know I speak for all Earthlings when I ask you to hurry home. General, I ask all of you to come back. We of the Earth are prepared to welcome the Jelusian people, too. Oh, great one. We thank you so much. But we must go on. Find another new planet of our own in space. And try once again to live in peace. We, the Jelusians, must follow our destiny. That is the will of my grandfather. Emeralita. May I go with you to your new world? Hans. I would like to try to make amends. As my people have been evil. And I would like to be one of you. Of course. Can I go too? I'm coming too. Me too. But why do you wish to come? Because I feel my life would have some purpose there. You too, Aaron. Well... <laughs> yeah, we'd have the police on our tail if we went back. <laughs> but you know, now that I think of it, I don't know how to build a new world. You will be very good at it. It is an honor for us to have you. Yeah! <laughs> You heard them, my friend. We're going to continue our journey through space till we find ourselves a new planet and begin again. Goodbye, Noguchi. Too bad. If Beba 2 went back to Earth, 
Beba too gets purple heart. <laughs> Forget about your medals, Beba. There are more beautiful dreams in space. So keep your eyes on the stars. All right, let's go. Princess. All engines are hit! Off we go! And so, heading for the vastness of space, a handful of brave people of vision seek the fulfillment of their mortal lives in freedom, independence, and peace.